Hello crafty friends! My name's Alicia, but you can call me Crafty Owl. And welcome, or perhaps welcome back, to my channel. The first of the month is always an exciting time here. It is Sheet Load of Cards Day. If you're new to my channel or new to Sheet Load of Cards, this is a free printable I put out each month that gives you a new sketch, supply list, and cutting guides to make the most of your products and yield a sheet load of cards. This is usually anywhere between 6 and 12 cards, depending on the paper size, the sketch, etc. In today's video, I'll be sharing a look at the new printable, showing you the first set I made, and at the end of the video, telling you how you can download the free printable if you're a subscriber to my channel. Tomorrow, I'll be back to share my process and give you some tips on putting together the new sheet load, and my team of collaborators will be joining me with their takes on the newest printable. Make sure if you don't already follow them here on YouTube or over on Instagram to check out the links in the description box below. And speaking of collaboration team, this year, every month, we are inviting a guest artist to join us. Let's go ahead and meet this month's guest artist. Earlier this year, as I was starting to look for guest artists, I did some searches here on YouTube to see who had already been using Sheetload of Cards. And I stumbled upon a new-to-me crafter, Jessica of Paper Ink Stamp. What stood out to me were not only her fun cards, but the fact that she had converted the sheet load to European size paper and card bases. In the past, I have had many of you reach out to find out how to do the conversions, and I really haven't had a good answer. So I was super thrilled when I reached out to Jessica to see if she would like to join us for a month and show you how she does the conversions. Jessica's video will be included in this month's playlist and I have clickable links for her down in that description box below. If you don't already follow her and subscribe to her channel, I hope that you'll do that. Now let's go ahead and have a little Q&A with her. Before we take a look at the June 2024 Sheetload of Cards printable, I do have some special channel members to recognize. In the month of May, the following members earned their two-year membership badge. Congratulations to Patricia Banks, Megan Peacock, Fresh and Renewed with Teresa, DG Stamper Man Made Crafts Meredith Kluber Janie Westcott and JF Jin 13300 Thank you so much for your continued support. Thank you as well to these members who celebrated three years of membership in May. An extra special thank you goes out to Julia McLaren, Katie DeFrancesco, Karen's Crafting Company, Debbie in LA, Dinah Colors Rhonda, Jane Smith, Kimberly Park, Teresa Kieser, Audrey E, Rita Jackson, Carolyn King, Susan M, Kathy Nelson, Penny Robinson, Melissa Wims, H. May, K. 
Kathy Slack, Lori Beck, and To Be Free At Last. Your continued support keeps me creating here on YouTube and sheetload of cards free for all subscribers. Here's a look at the latest sheetload of cards printable, June 2024. This is a special 6x6 paper edition and with just four sheets of pattern paper and some cardstock, you're going to yield eight A2 cards. As always, if you don't need a sheet load or maybe you have some scraps to use up, I do give the single piece dimensions here and at the bottom some alternatives or ways you can switch it up and make it your own. This month does have some special instructions and in tomorrow's process video I'll go into more detail, but make sure if you are going to go ahead and get started today to read those. It has to do with how you're going to get this piece here cut and onto its mat correctly. Page two of the printable is going to show you how to cut your pattern papers and your card stocks. And this month there is just an itty bitty scrap piece that I bet you can use to decorate the inside of your cards to make it a no scraps edition. When you're choosing your pattern papers, you could have two pairs of the same patterns or you could switch it up like you'll see me use today and do two pattern papers that go together and another two pattern papers that go together. So for instance here I show the same color cardstock but you might not do that you might have one for each pair for your matting. There is a third page in the PDF file that you'll download and it gives you some copyright and use information as well as some printing tips, but basically just print pages two and three once you have read this information. Let's go ahead and take a look at the main supplies I'll be using for today's cards. For my pattern papers and stamps today, I'm going to be using products from Not Too Shabby from their latest quarterly release. My papers are from the Rustic Blooms 6x6 paper pad. And for my sentiment, I'll be using Thinking of You so I can send these cards for any occasion from their Blooming Sentiment stamp set. And you'll also see me pull in the coordinating dies for this set. I chose two different pairs of pattern papers for my cards, and then I got out some coordinating card stocks from Tailored Expressions. For the butterfly set, I'm choosing cotton candy for my ink and for my matting. And for the little kind of floral yellow distress set, I'll be using pineapple ink and card stock. In tomorrow's process video, I'll also tell you about other products and tools that I use. Let's go ahead and take a look at my first set this month. I hope you enjoyed that look at my first set of cards using the June 2024 sheet load of cards. If you did, as always, a thumbs up is appreciated. Now let me tell you how you can download the free printable. If you would like to download the free PDF to make your own version of this month's card, as always, I do ask that you're subscribed to my channel before you click on the download link which I'll tell you where that's at here in just a minute. We do just go on the honor system here. Subscribing is free, quick, and easy. Please make sure you've clicked on that subscribe button before you click on the link. You're going to find the link to this month's PDF printable down in the description box, almost all the way at the bottom. Below the link, it will say to watch the video for a password, but you watching this far is the password. You can download it to your device and then print it, or you can download it to your device, open it from there, and use it on screen. Until my next video, which is tomorrow's process, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. 
I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you are interested in any of the products or tools I used in today's video, I do have some links in the description box below.